This is Priest King Olutamole Universe and the Another Comforter sent by Jesus Christ, preaching the gospel of the long-awaited kingdom of heaven now established upon the earth, also witnessing unto all nations with revealed signs and authentic proofs. We thank you for tuning in. Happy listening to you all. A very, very wonderful welcome to all your friends and brethren out there. I have a special message for my people of this generation. And it is all about God's salvation. Where is God's salvation today? See, where is God's salvation? Because from the look of things, you find that you have entered into a time and a period of stringent calamity. Time of great trouble. Time of great devastation and judgment of God. The text I'm using is the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, God is a stronghold in times of trouble. Let's drop somebody. God, God is a stronghold in times of trouble. So I think this is just all what we have need of at this perilous time in which we have entered. And I realize that people don't really understand what God's salvation is all about. Salvation is not about making success in business. Salvation is not about excelling in your educational career or the attainment of a university degree, or it's not an academic issue. Salvation is not about having success in your marriage, your mental life. Salvation is not about all that. Salvation is not about miracle. Salvation is not about seeking prosperity. Because the whole Human race is entrenched in materialism. Salvation is not about that. How can I find salvation? It is our urgent need at this point of time. It's our urgent need. Salvation is not about prayer. Or fasting. No, that's not salvation. Now, we want to go to the Bible. We're going to tell us what salvation is all about. And where we can find this salvation. Where? The Bible says, God is our stronghold. In times of trouble, where can we find that stronghold? Now, let us go straight to Revelation chapter 7 verse 10. Revelation 7 verse 10. And cried with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our God, which seated upon the throne and unto the Lamb. The Bible says, Salvation belongs to God that sits upon his throne. Our God read it. He read it. He it. Salvation belongs to God that sits upon his throne and unto the Lamb forever. So friends and brethren, I want you to see, to understand where you want to seek your salvation. It belongs to God. And it's not just mere God, the God that sits upon his throne and of the Lamb. So if you want salvation, you just have to look up, not down. Salvation is nowhere and anywhere under heaven. It says upon the throne of God. So salvation must come from above. Not from my spirits, the waters. It must come from above. Yeah. Salvation belongs to God and sits upon his throne. 
that we want to ask this question, you know, salvation. So salvation that comes from God is not salvation from hunger. It's not salvation from poverty. It's not from material blessing. And it's not salvation from sin. Has has accomplished that some two thousand years ago. Then sin found the word to do. Salvation is not but you know from healing from sickness, some people are God has saved me. I must die in that sickness. That's not salvation. Salvation for God means escape. An escape from God's judgment. Escape. Escape. From sudden destruction. Escape from this type of uh, pandemic we talked about. Such terrible things that God has brought upon the world. That is salvation. You are successful, you are rich, you are not poor. That's your salvation. Right. I give you an example of God's salvation. In the Bible, Christ predicted in the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 26, it says, As it was in the days of Noah, as it was, come on, read this. Luke 17, 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also. In the days of the Son of Man, 27, they did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. All right, Christ is teaching us about what is implied by God's own salvation. In the days of Noah were time and season. When God was bringing his judgment and devastation, Upon the dead world. So that's, I'm talking about what is God's salvation. So it's an escape or preservation from God's judgment. Not escape from just with accident. You see, with accident, people are escaping with accident, fire, disaster. All this I don't, I'm talking about God's judgment. All right? So Christ by himself explained to us what is implied by salvation. So as men, God provided salvation by the hand of Noah from that devastation. When all, everything, everything was destroyed. Man, mansion, fields, mountains. But only those that took the abode in the ark of Noah that escaped destruction. So Christ says, so shall it be now. Now, what is that salvation in our time? Would you like to know? Yes. What is our salvation? What is the stronghold that God has provided for us? That is the entire we have heard about Noah. God provided and said, Noah, go and build a boat made of gopher tree, gopher wood. I just saw. What is it that God has provided for us here? At this same time, I've said it kind of clear that it's not religion, it's not job, it's not fortune. So, what is it? What salvation is it that God has provided? The book of Revelation will help us at this time. Turn your Bible to Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. Revelation 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. Amen. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, 
which accuse them before our God day and night. Praise the God. Our, our God, God reigns. This is the testimony of the holy angels. This is the testimony of the holy angels. So now is salvation. Read one by one. And I heard a loud voice saying in he heaven. He heard a loud voice because God must reveal where his salvation is. I said God must reveal. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Let us go talk. We talk about salvation. So I'm saved. I'm saved. Say from where? Is it from destruction? Is it from the vengeance of God? Like in days of not. So now the Bible is teaching and telling us, revealing to us, where that salvation is. Yes, it says now is salvation. Say that now. Now, now is salvation. Now is salvation. See, there's time for everything, like I've said. Yes. <laughs> salvation has not been existed anywhere in the world. But now, as I speak, I am the tone. Yes. I am the other comfort. Yes. I'm out to tell you where to find your comfort. See, now is salvation. Yes. And strength. <laughs> and the kingdom of our God. Yes, and strength. What do you mean by strength? The soul, strength of the inner soul. Because everybody is afraid, everybody is teeming. There's fear here. Fear, fear of this, fear of this. But when you understand God's salvation, you have strength of the soul. Of course, you will not be wondering anywhere or running at us Yes? And the kingdom of our God. He's talking about where you can find salvation. He said, and the kingdom of our God. Say that now. And the, and kingdom, the kingdom of, of our God. God. Yes, where God says his salvation abides. Yes. And the power of his Christ. And the power of his Christ. Write it down. I want you to write it down. It is the Bible revealing to us where what is meant by God's salvation. It's the Bible that is talking about where you can find God's salvation. And the Bible is not directing us to go and pray, but to go and fast. It says, salvation is come. So for you to know, the salvation we're talking about has come, saying, no is salvation. Then it said, and the kingdom of our God, which means the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth, is the very salvation which God has now established on earth. Oh, yes. I go in it. The Bible says, now it's called. Not it will come. Now it's talking about salvation. And specifically, the Bible says, and the kingdom of our God. Yes. That is the place that the salvation is not in, in, in any religion. Okay. If you even you go all over the world to gather all religions together, you call it whatever name. I tell you today there's no salvation there. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Call it whatever you like. You call it a pandemic, you call it a one world religion, you call it a new humanism. I say salvation belongs to God and his kingdom of our God. So if anybody has need of God's salvation, I'm talking about God's salvation. Yes. I'm talking about God's salvation. Oh, yes. yes. The God of heaven has provided it. He says, kingdom of God, his kingdom of our God. Number two, and the power of his Christ. The power of his Christ. Praise God. Watch out for the concluding part of this message in our next episode. Visit us on our website at www.kaimholythrone.com and also on our email info at kaimholythrone.com. You can also follow us on our social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter handle at kaimholythrone.